graveyard in Accra, Ghana for used cars from Europe. Everybody's looking for their diamond in the rough. A couple on a quest to keep German classics alive. People like us are responsible for keeping most of these cars on the road. And the people who risk their health to find automotive treasure amongst trash. We have so many dangerous um, elements. We don't have access to protective clothing. The love of vintage design, the economics of the scrap metal industry, and Accra's do-it-yourself spirit come together here. My name is Sidi Kubari Jr. An auto mechanic and a restorer, also a classic car collector. I just love the way most of these cars were built, and the kind of engines they came with. Most of these cars were handmade. Jay and his wife Tina decided to turn their passion for classic vehicles into a business. For 10 years, Vintage Exotics has restored or refurbished over 100 cars like these. This is a 1993 Honda Civic EG. Um, it's a builder's dream. Um, this is a very rare vehicle. This is a C43 AMG from 1996. Uh, it comes with a V8 engine. This is a Mercedes 190 from, from Mercedes Benz. And this is a very, very special car. This is a 2002 series from BMW. Um, it's the only one in the country. Ghana imports about 100,000 cars a year. 90% of these arrive in various states of disrepair. Yeah, most of these cars come from Europe and America, and uh, most of them come into Ghana salvage. Salvage means um, slightly damaged. Understandably, it doesn't take long before cars with one wheel in the grave qualify to go six feet under. Once a car reaches the end of its driving life, it ends up here at the Agbog Bloshi scrapyard, where nothing goes to waste. So we're in the middle of the um, Agbog Bloshi scrapyard. Um, this is where most of the old cars that are no longer in use and the parts end up. So um, everybody's looking for their diamond in the rough. Mechanics like myself, we tend to come here when we're looking for hard to find parts. It helps us to source parts locally rather than importing because when you import parts, the duties are extremely ridiculous. On-site workers process up to 20 cars a day, meticulously dismantling them to sort and harvest valuable components. Veritable automotive gold. You need skills to do this, this kind of work. You do know where to cut and where not to cut. And there are some parts too, they are very dangerous. A car comprises of so many components. The engine, the wires, the body, the seats, then, then the leathers inside. We have to come and then remove everything and then we sort it. Usable parts get bought up by mechanics for car repairs. Those that no one wants, including engine blocks, get broken down, sorted and sold as scrap to the steel industry. Today, Jay has spotted something he likes. We're coming around here. Um, I saw this car that was being cut up. And uh, the wheels underneath it attracted my eye and it caught my eye and I, I decided to get them. These are rally wheels. They are racing wheels, that's why I like them. I've been looking for one for a while. I'm going to strip the paint, restore it, and um, put it on one of my vehicles. The best of the metallic harvest goes to nearby markets. And with his Citroen rally wheels secured, that's where Jay is heading next. So I'm in the middle of Abu Sokai, the biggest automotive market in Ghana. If you look to the left, you see um, replacement steering wheels and airbag. And if you look to my right, you see a lot of brake pads, um, hoses for radiator, radiator hoses, and more steering wheels, shock absorbers, and things like that. So um, this is like being in a candy store because all the parts that I need um, for restoring my classic cars, this is where I find them. Couple CD. I just purchased a hose for the V201 190, a Mercedes Benz from 1990. The hose has a cut in it, so it's making the vehicle overheat. So I'm going to replace it with this. Back at the workshop, Tina is eager to see what Jay has brought home. 
when I saw the wheels, I was like quite excited. I mean, I was really excited when I, I saw it because it's, it's a rare thing to find. Moreover, where he found it is another thing altogether. The two waste no time getting to work on the restoration, stripping off the old paint and reconditioning the metal beneath. But there's still the beloved Mercedes W201-190 with a radiator leak. This car was built in Germany in 1983. Nearly four decades on, can the ingenuity of Ghanaian scrap workers help keep it going? And it's a success. Another classic car rescued from the scrap heap and another used European vehicle given a second life on West Africa's roads. very heartbreaking to see a lot of vehicles being cut up for their metal but um, people like us are responsible for keeping most of these cars on the road. To them it's just a metal that they are going to scrap off but then to us it's something really of great value. So we're happy to be part of the journey of keeping these vehicles alive and the whole purpose is to keep it around for the next generation and um, help develop the next phase of the automotive culture.